Welcome to Go Cornell. I'm your host, Alan Chandy, and you're probably wondering what this is. This is 50 pounds of what smells like broken dreams, but this is my only protection against him on this episode. Oh no! Good boy. Good boy, Good boy. Yeah, Bad guy, stand still. Friend. He's my friend now. Let's go check out this episode of Goku now. <laughs> Nothing defines the word peace more than Dave Gom and his dog AJ. Unless you try something like this out. Hey! Search. Bad guys stand still. Out there. Friend, hold on. Good boy. Hi, AJ. <laughs> Hi. Dave, I gotta ask you, how did you get into this whole thing? Got lucky. Kind of fell into it. Started out by buying a dog and enjoying it so much. People are like, you're so good with them. You should do it for a career. So I looked into it and I. Uh, Found a school in, BC, in Salmon Arm, BC, the Canada West Canine Center. It's where I got my start. I consider it like driver's training. You, know, you get your foundation and you start, when you get out is where the real learning happens. And uh, I've been doing this almost 20 years and um, I've been learning every day since. And I gotta ask you, like, did you get into this because of all the body cop movies that came out in the 80s? Mm, I've always liked canine. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's. Uh, I've always enjoyed dogs. I go to my friends' places and actually enjoy hanging out with the dogs more than I did with them. And what are, what are you doing here today in Cornell? Uh, I've been teaching, I've been coming up for about, uh, I think it's my eighth trip up here, teaching uh, a protection dog seminars. And um, it's where we teach dogs control, uh, protection. It's kind of like teaching a child uh, mixed martial arts. They learn when to use it, when not to use. Uh, control work, how to uh, deal with aggression. AJ here is uh, helping teach some of the uh, people to get into the bite suit today. So as you experience. <laughs> well, I'm not going to forget that anytime <laughs> soon. Tell me something about these teeth right here. What's up with that? Well, he gets overstimulated and likes to chain, like, when he got excited, he had to bite something. So he'd bite chain link and yank on it. Okay. So he wore all the enamel down and it looked like little grooves on the back side of his teeth. All four of them. Hey. So two of them actually broke, the upper canines, actually broke in the, stop eating watches. <laughs> and um, so we actually had to get those torn right out. So they did a big root canal and everything, took them out. And then the bottom two we capped to prevent okay. them with titanium to prevent them from actually breaking. And so basically he's got more of a metallic tooth than a sweet tooth, hey? Like yeah. he's not like, he doesn't go for the chocolates, he goes for the, the watches, watches and stuff. obviously, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> reminds me of my teeth. <laughs> I just wanted to ask you, like, how long have you been coming up to uh, Crooked Leg Ranch? Yeah. Like I said, it's my eighth trip up here, so I probably uh, usually once or twice a year, so almost eight years. And I've known Willow for a little longer than that, so. And what's your favorite part about this ranch here? Uh, getting chased by the geese. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, for training, it's great because I've got all stuff like this. We can put people and dogs in, and you know it's a beautiful little field to train in and it's just a very comfortable family-like environment they've got a couple of ducks in the shower right now it's, uh, it's a little awkward to use the shower did you know that this place had a zebu no i haven't seen it yet but they're not surprised they got a lot of things up here <laughs> yeah and we actually got to check out some of those things and we got to talk to willow and we want to make this clear this place isn't the spca it isn't a petting zoo if you want to find out what it is you're going to have to check the story out Welcome back to GoPronel. We're still with Dave and AJ. Dave, could you tell me a little bit about, you know, the kind of people that you're training here today? Well, we've got all levels of uh, protection dogs here today. We've got absolute beginners that have never seen anything before. And we've got some dogs that are quite advanced. Um, and basically all we're doing today is working on skills that are, might be missing in their program. Right on. And how do you actually tailor that, that kind of training to, you know, how, how experienced you are? How do you actually do something like that? 
Well, we'll test the dog out the first couple, uh, the first time out. We used to do a few rounds, and we'll um, see where they're at, what um, what the, re the dog's reaction is, and um, build out, build off from there. If I was a first-time dog owner and I wanted to teach my boy to be exactly like AJ over here, what are some of the basic things that I can teach him? Basic principles, basic foundations is socialization and obedience. Okay. So. Um, obedience is one of the keys to have control of your dog in any aspect you do, whether it's protection, agility, uh, fly ball, frisbee dogs, whatever it is. So we, that's where we start out. Can I see some of the stuff Absolutely. that you can do? Absolutely. All right. Come on, old man. Sit. Yep. So this basic heel. Let's go. Hurry. Into an automatic sit. Stay. Okay. Come. This is what we call a slow recall. Good boy. Yep. Good boy. So just a little light obedience. That's real basic stuff that we teach in beginner obedience. So. Okay. Now, I've actually got a couple of cats at home. Would any of this training apply to them? Or could you tell me about how I could train cats, them? Cats are a little different. Put that on. Just slip that jacket on, nice and neat. Why does this look like the same jacket that I wore oh, earlier on this you're morning? You're fine, don't worry about it. No? No, you're good. I'm good? Yeah. So these cats like to scratch a lot. Okay. So then what you do is you pivot sideways. And what do I do now? Put your elbow out. Swing out a little bit more. Look down this way. Pass your sleeve. Take him! Oh! Good boy! Oh, no. Get the bad guy! Get the bad guy! Oh, no. Atta boy! Atta boy! <laughs>